So it's just at the Effuzi Gallery. It was gorgeous. I hope you guys can't hear all this background noise on the streets of Florence right now. But it was gorgeous. I saw the birth of Venus, which was breathtaking. I cried. And not just because I was thinking of Beyonce the whole time and the Renaissance tour. And how I won't be going again. <gasps> um, I'm in Florence for a week. Part of a trip I'm doing across Europe. I did Greece and I'm doing uh, Am I zoomed in? And I'm doing Barcelona and Portugal next. So super excited for that, but I still got a few more weeks in Italy. I'm traveling with a friend, but today I'm pretty much alone. So in the morning, I'm doing Uffizi. In the afternoon, I'm doing uh, Agademia, which is where the Statue of David is. And then after that, I have a date, which I don't know. Let's see how that goes. Let's see if he even flops or shows up or I don't know what a date is like with an Italian man. Like we have no plans. He just said, I'm going to show you around Florence, whatever that means. Yeah. What do I even do? What do I get? What do I wear? What do I am I paying? Like, where are we going? Are we getting dinner, drinks, gelato? Like, what's the vibe? I don't know. And it's giving me anxiety. But I'm gonna just roll with it. You know, I got some like hours to go. I want to go take a fucking photo at the fucking photo, fucking a photo of a fucking automat. And that shit is closed out of service. So now what? I gotta go find another one. Apparently, they're all out of service in Rome when I looked at all the reviews. So. Or in Florence, so I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, here's me being a bad. So you are dreaming of after. Or was it really all just for fun? I will stand there, still in love with you. But I already knew it was done.
Bonjour. Ciao, everybody. Bonjourno, everybody. I am in back of my Airbnb. Domo views. Anyways. I have returned in my Airbnb. Showered, feeling A1. Got my cookies. Whatever the fuck these things are. Got them because I was hungry. They're okay. I came back because I was supposed to be going on a date. Yeah, he canceled. Okay. If you say so, you know. Do not trust Italian men. Do not trust them. I paint the town red. Do not trust them. He says he has school stuff to take care of for tomorrow. So he said, can we reschedule for tomorrow? I said, mm, I don't know. So we'll see what goes on. We'll see what the vibe is, but got to sit up. Um, second time in the past, like two months. So feeling so great about myself right now. It's amazing. So my friend's gonna come back, we're gonna chill, and then we are gonna go to Piazza da Sunset, whatever the fuck it's called, Michelangelo type of vibes. Have a bottle of wine, then get dinner. And yeah, live life, you know, without men. Because why would I? Like, for what? For what reason? I got stood up in multiple countries now. I can say that officially. Hmm. Hmm. Let's also talk about where I've been while I get ready. I say get ready, but babes, I don't have that many outfits, so like, it's the same every day. The key is to change multiple times throughout the day, so that you never actually sweat in your clothes. So, where have I been? Um, you know, life took a turn, and it didn't really take a turn, but I just stopped vlogging because I came back from Paris. I vlogged when I was in Paris because I was alone, and it was a great, like, outlet and great to talk. And I watched those vlogs, like, every other day. But I have not vlogged since because... I don't know, one, work, I do know, work, like, t consumes my life half the time, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, I work a lot, I work remotely, think about work all the time, I can't not think about work. And then when I turn on my vlog, I tried vlogging once, and I was like, oh my god, I have nothing to say besides work. Capitalism is consuming me and killing my body day by day. And... I don't know. But I can't make a fucking Instagram post without everyone being like, where, why are you not posting videos anymore? Babes, did y'all really care? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But like, okay, there's that. And then there's also every time I make a vlog and I've, I've filmed vlogs about like my work day, day and like shit like that. And I watch it back and I'm like, I don't know. Like I watch this stuff back and I'm like, I wouldn't watch this. Like, I don't care. So I just never post this stuff. I went backpacking in Thailand, which was the best fucking month of my life. I wish I vlogged that shit because I literally cry every time I think about it. So don't even show me a picture from it because I'll tear up. And then after that, again, just vibing, well, not vibing, just work consuming my life. All summer, all 2023, now I'm here in Florence, Italy. I'll be traveling for the next six weeks. Like this is so unrelatable and like, who the fuck would watch this besides myself being like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I'm so cool. No one else gives a fuck. Like this is why I don't post. Can't believe I got stood up again. Gays ain't shit in any country, any country. Don't go to fucking Jackie O's on Mykonos Island. Fuck the gays. Actually, when I was on Mykonos, everyone was telling me, oh, this is a gay island, this is a gay island. Bitch, my hinge, empty. Tinder, empty. Grinder, not empty, but like, fuck that shit. Um, sniffies. I was at the club though, and this like 65 year old man would not leave me alone. He kept grabbing. Anyways, I shouldn't be saying stuff on the internet. I had some funny times in Mykonos, but all trash, all ratchet. Let's just say that, put that out there. And that's all we have to say. I am big on house music now though. That's a different side of me. I'm super lucky to be traveling and working, but. I don't know. I just feel like no one cares to see it because sometimes it's like, I also don't really like have shit to say because I just like, I don't know what's gone through me. Maybe it's depression. Or maybe the fact that this is, do not go to Italy and Greece when you're single. You should literally be in a relationship. Do you hear me? Greece and Italy are only for people in relationships. Literally don't come without. If I knew this, I would not have come. I literally would have canceled this trip and not come because Everyone is in a relationship, and everyone traveling here is in a relationship. Oh, you can see my little butt in the mirror. <laughs> Anyways, fog. I gotta pick a new place, but... but yeah, so I'm just gonna get ready and try and enjoy my evening of getting stood up. I forgot to show you guys. I went to I went to the Foto Automatica 
and I finally found one that fucking worked. I did it, and the seat was too high. My head is cut off. Like, ew, uh, I'm gonna kill myself on the spot. There are so many reasons to kill myself today. Like, literally. What am I doing here? How am I doing this? I'm brave. I'm fucking brave to still be here right now. If I die, let it be known that I was brave. <laughs>